Alright people, welcome back. Come on, Vitamin Y. So today is Saturday, and that means that we're using Labrador you Bell. So if you guys remember from last Saturday, the deck was just doing terribly. Like, it was not working, and uh, hopefully I fixed it, updated it. I, I, usually when I would work on the deck, I would fix the extra deck, but then not work on the main deck. And I think that was one of the major problems, is that uh, there were just a lot of holes and problems with the main deck. So hopefully it works out okay. Uh, we opened up with a lot of... A lot more monsters than we usually do, which is totally fine. Uh, drew the Yabel and the Tet and the Ultimate Nightmare, but you know, at least we got Dark Greffer, so. Uh, we do have a first turn Leo, though, and you know, I have no complaints with a first turn Leo. So go ahead and send Yabel, send the Labradite. Uh, there's a lot of spell cards in this deck, there really is, and uh, you know, we ran into that problem last video where we just drew a lot of spell cards, so I thought Summoner Monk was in there, but. He wasn't, so now he's definitely, definitely in there. You know, definitely gotta get that Summoner Monk action. Uh, I decided to put this guy in here, because he might be kind of useful. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be a Leo. And, you know, once Leo summoned properly, we got Call of the Hunteds and Oasis and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I run one Leo and one of that other guy, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Dragositis. Uh, because you can also make him one Dark Turner and one, um, one Dun... One Dark Tuner and one non tuner Dragon type monster? Oh, I had to use um, Dragon. That's fine. Alright, let's say we're going to get some kind of hero deck. So, I guess this will be interesting. So, are you going to get the poly or are you going to drop? You're going to grab the poly. Alright. So, if he can take out my Leo, I'm going to be in some deep shit. Because I didn't open up well enough to combat. Alright. What does Drago do? When your opponent, when this card is shown in the post, blah, 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 uh, I don't really feel like overextending or doing anything along those lines. I think I'll just head in and attack. If he has the mirror force, he has the mirror force, right? Okay. It kind of sucks that, you know, destruction is popular right now, mirror force and dark hole and regeki, because, you know, not being able to be targeted is just an awesome ability, but... You know, it's kind of risky. So, we're clearly going against heroes, so the question is, will he poly? Maybe poly until like an absolute zero and run into me and then blow me up. Damn. Don't trust the back row. I, I, I really, I feel like if I want him to push and, and overextend to get rid of this Leo, and then if he gets rid of it, then, you know. Alright. And if he pushes over sends and gets rid of it, then I have plays of the future. You know. I can go Dark Graffer, send the Maui, then revive uh you know the Labradite do the call, then summon the Maui, set the swing and with the with the Ultimaya, you know. I have plays, it's just I I'm worried about the background, I'm worried about overextending, and I um Chill with Leo. You know, if Leo can win me this duel just by just being powerful as Leo, then hey, more power to him, right? You know, I don't want to summon any monsters. I don't want to get Torrential Tribute. It's clear that Leo is attacking, you know? The only thing I'm worried about is him starting to set monsters because I don't really want to push more monsters because I don't want to run into like a Torrential Tribute or something. Maybe he's going to Torrential Tribute. So I set another back row. That I want him to work hard for for Leo. Burn resources, take out the Leo. And if you could do that, then hey. And, and I also got the call to hunt, so I could just send the Leo right back. So, okay. So Leo won the duel. Nice. And when Leo wins the duel, we are all happy. So this is this this is already better. I said Leo is powerful. You don't got that dark hole that Regeki. He's a 31 beater. Can't be targeted. That's fucking powerful, man. That's fucking powerful. 31 beater that can't be targeted. Like say what? Like, you can't want to one me, you can't cast down me, you can't de-prison me, you can't compulse me. Like, it's all good. Wow. 
Wow, this hand is probably the most terrible hand I've ever got with this deck. Yeah. He complained about fucking just drawing all spells and traps. Well, I guess it'd be better than drawing this. I dropped Dragard down to one because I really don't use him. You know, as much, especially since I have like Armageddon Knight and Dark Reference handling this situation. But, wow. Wow, and we're going against a whole bunch of back row. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one. It looks like there's any monsters in there. Ah, uh, top deck Dark Reffer, so... I'm gonna go ahead and pay the cost of Maui. Drawing two Maui's. God, this sucks. Never want to draw two Maui's. One is kind of eh. But, you know, I have Dark Reffer. I'm drawing Terra, I mean, come on. Thank God I top deck that Dark Reffer. We'd probably still be sitting here doing nothing. So, once again, just like the last duel. Monsters beat background, so... I'll just have Dark Reffer keep attacking. Keep hacking away. If you want to play back row on him, go ahead. I don't care. But um, I'm not really playing on overextending right now. Hmm. This is looking good. Utopia. This isn't looking good at all. Now he has a Utopia and he has back row backing it up. Like, it's a man's worst nightmare, isn't it? How am I going to deal with this? I. I ended up doing the opposite of what I should have done. I ended up burning up a lot of my resources. <sighs> I'm probably gonna lose this duel. He has five background. Like, that's definitely enough to one-up me and put me out of resources. But I have to push. I'm not gonna go into Leo. I'm not gonna go into Drag Dragositis. I have a Mally in the Graveyard, so I think it's time for Ultimaya. I really wish I didn't open up with so many dead cards like Terror and the other Mally. Lots of dead draws versus his back row. Let's go. Synchro Shokan. Ultimaya Tosokin. Yep. Like I said, this duel is pretty much over at this point. I mean, if I didn't draw this other Mali, I could go for another Ultimaya, but I did. I have one more plan up my sleeve. It, guys, if, if this if this doesn't go through, then I'm fucked. Desperation play. Let's go into him. I already pulled out the solemn warning, so. All right. Chin. Oh my god. I mean, he had he had the back row. But I'm still okay. I got through. I pulled out the solemn warning on the Ultimaya to allow the exit time to go off. <sighs> Depending on what we draw, we might be able to pull something off. You know what? I'll take it. Instead of having you bell. Nope, nope, nope. I forgot. The Mali, I drew it. So that's all my Mallies. I don't have a Mally in the deck. Uh, actually, you know what? That's bad. Of course I drew all the Mallies. Oh, I, was like, I was like, oh yeah, I can just summon the Mally. Like, no, I can't, because I drew two Mallies. Like, just fucking dead drawing like hella. Now I need one more piece of revival, and then I can go into Ultimaya. 
Wish I'd do like an Armageddon or a Dark Griffin or something. It's another revival. It's allowing him to build up resources, which is bad. I can go into Nultimaya, but what's the point? <sighs> I need another set card. I have to inflict as much damage as I possibly can before he can build up resources again. You know, he has four cards. There should be plenty to come back into this duel. Really? Infinity? No, it's not infinity. Exceeds mm. reborn? Exceeds what? If exceed monsters on the field with two or more Eximic Trolls cannot be destroyed by card effect. After damage cut this exceed monster, you control battle the opposing monster, destroy the that monster. That exceed monster monster must have two one zero to attach and resolve this effect. Mm. I know what that card is. I know the current situation. I think I won, though. With these two cards, maybe? Oh. How strong are you? 13, of course. That might just be enough. Yep. That might just be enough. Activate Lemon Reverse. Activate Oasis. Summon those two. Ultimate, set to swing. Swing, summon Beals. Beals crash. I don't care about your card because I can't be destroyed anyway. Yep, that seems like a fine idea. Synchro Shotgun. Set that. Fact. Let's go ahead and summon Beals. Bills, go ahead and crash. I don't even care if you activate your car. It's not going to do anything right now. Resources though. Huh. Oh, that was that one. That duel. <laughs> Thank you, Axton. I love you. You you are my best friend. You're not my best friend. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to state that. But God, you are a fucking lifesaver, Axton. I don't even know what I would do without you you existing at times. I'll get one more duel. Oh, even with that shitty hand, I pulled through. Because of Exiton. I baited out the, <laughs> the solemn warning and I was like, Whew. I was like, I actually might be able to go ahead and do, do an Exiton. Once again, drew the Maui, but besides that, the not terrible. I do have Leo. Is this an Exeter card then, huh? Hmm. Alright.
So let's go ahead and go with our first turn Leo. I said, just getting sick and tired of drawing these fucking Nallies. They're not doing anything in my hand. Like, pretty much now I need Dark Reffer. I'm also not really liking the Dragositis. I'd rather have a second Leo like last time, so I might change that back. Mm hmm. Remember, Generator, I'm getting Regeki, getting Soul Charge. I mean, I should set the Oasis just to have it active, but if he just, if he, but if he blind space me, if he spaces me, then I can't even get anything. Armageddon Knight has to be on the filter as always effect. That's a TCG rolling, isn't it? I believe so. All right, he wants Daddy. Daddy can't even target my Leo. He's not strong enough to get over it, so. Blur of Darkness, alright. So this is kind of a Chaos Dragon deck. Oh, Shadals. Ew. Yeah, it's Shadals. It's old Shadals. Back when they were so, then they were aggressive. They turned back to go in the back right now. Okay. Number generator, <laughs> decided to go ahead and put your foolish and your bombs on top of the deck, and of course you know them. <laughs> ah. Seriously, like, what is, what is Dragositis doing? And I get a number generator card again, like, look at this, look at him, look at him, look at me, look at him, look at me. He's like, alert, alright, then I mill my, my foolish and my bombless, I'm like, draw soul charge, draw regeki, draw, I'm only running one drag art, like, the number generator is being really freaky deaky right now. I'm just worried about him, of course, drawing into a, a Shadal Fusion. When Shadal Fusion, and I'm gonna get constructed to hell, so. Hmm. It's all Shadal Fusion. It's like a Shadal Judgment Dragon deck of weirdness. I'm not sure about his back row, but I could do a play right now. I could go Selvish Cry, summon, tribute, Mali, activate the Oasis, summon back, go into Ultimaya. Set the soul charge, get the effect. I'm gonna hold on to my resources. Like I said, I'm worried about dueling against not only the should not only JD, but also the should all monsters as well. How many life stories is that? It's two. It's a scary thought. Oh, in my main phase too. All right, because I have to go into main phase too. So you also take thirty-one, sir. Yeah, because I go into main phase too, and then he plays your destruction, which is totally fine. Mhm. Mm took the 18 because when he declares an attack he'll go up to 21 which will run over my Leo so I'll just take the 18. Uh, Ring of Destruction was a fine way to get over Leo but the problem is is that he took the 31 as well. You're level 30 and level 4 aren't the way about any additional seeing. So the biggest threat right now is you milling. Start Regeki at that. So then he'll probably just go ahead and send the dragon, and dragon will pop my oasis. And then my oasis will destroy my. Yep. Wow, drew another Maui. Oh, this is getting dumb. 
they're getting sick and tired of just drawing fucking Maui. I'm gonna go throw the Regeki at him and then go into and go into Dragositis with the Dragard. Yeah. Then of course you'll get come back, but then I could just kill you by battle. I'd rather have a second Leo than this guy, but sure, we'll go into him. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Rather have a fucking second Leo. Yep, fuck this guy. <laughs> yep, right now I would totally rather have a second Leo. God, I wish I had a second Leo. Why did I put this guy in here? I'm just like, oh yeah, he's cool. Let's try him out. No, fuck him. Fuck him. I better not lose this duel because of him, BLS. Of course. Of course it's fucking BLS. I keep it destroyed by battle. So surprisingly, that fucking can't be destroyed by battle effect actually is working right now. Or 4,000 beater. No, no, no. When it flips up, it can't be destroyed by battle. Like, what do you mean? It's, a, it's negated. It's a negate for what's that? Nick? No. Because that was true, then Marshall and Spirit Reaper wouldn't fucking work. Now, would they? Like, no. You attack, and they flip up, and their effects are continuous and resolve. Yeah, so I thought you better quit, bitch. Whoo! No, but no, seriously, Leo would have been much better because then he wouldn't be able to book a moon me. So I would have killed this fucking Falco. But then he could have just booked him in by Leo, then summon BLS, like. And now we drew a third fucking Mally! Like, whoa! Fuck you, Mally! I hate you so much! Ah, my god! Fucking drawing you all the fucking time! Like, you're so fucking useless in my hand! Ah, <sighs> alright, I am done. So, uh, like I said, that guy, he, he kinda saved me, but nah, I still would rather have Leo. So I hope that you guys enjoy the deck worked a little bit better. Still not the best, especially since I keep drawing fucking Mally all damn day. <sighs> so anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh tomorrow with Hebon Zectors. Alright people, thanks for watching.